we were all focused on the cumulative, the, the, the sum of the parts. And that we had a lot of control over and so we would magnify you know, as best we could our strengths and minimise our weaknesses. You learn about communicating and trusting one another and collaborating properly and that honesty thing which is a really key attribute of being a top achiever is you expect honesty from the people around you and you you know you are honest in 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 return there's not a lot of room in a really high performing team for a, a hidden agenda the gold medal time was five minutes 46 seconds and we all looked at him and went you know, good on you, Jürgen, for having these stretch targets. <laughs> you know, aim for the stars and you might hit the moon, that sort of thing, good on you. So personal performance, again, it'll come back to honesty. It'll be a being honest with yourself and it's a good exercise to write down, right, what am I not good at? Quite a searching experience, but you know where you can improve, you know where you want to improve. He will absolutely put the rowing machine so that everyone is aligned across the room and he'll wander up and down behind with a clipboard writing down the scores that people do. So we absolutely make an asset of the fact that we're competing against one another. The Athens one, well, A is a lot smaller than the others uh, and the design on the front doesn't actually match the others, um, which was the real reason I burst into tears on the podium. <laughs> Ambition is absolutely a cornerstone, a pillar of sport. If you haven't got a goal, if you haven't got an ambitious goal, if you haven't got the desire to get somewhere that either you haven't been before or it's a repeat high-end, high-performing goal, then you know, what are you doing it for? For us, being ambitious was absolutely one of the fuels to the fire that kept us going on a daily basis.